Hi team. So today we're going to discuss how you can update the typical states for product backlog items in um, Azure DevOps boards. And we're going to focus specifically on how to change the states of user stories. So typically when I start a new project and I use Azure DevOps boards, one of the things that I would do from the very beginning is update the states of user stories and how we can track them in the tool. So let me show you how to do that. So if you log into Azure DevOps boards and open your project, so let's assume here we're using a sample project and then you navigate to your boards, you will see on the boards, if you're using user stories and this kind of Kanban boards, the user stories on a board, if you open a user story, you will see the states of the user story, right? So how to change the state really depends on the process you're using for your project. So if you are using one of the system uh, processes that are shipped with the tool natively, you won't be able to change the states um, directly on that process. You will have to, to create what we call an inherited process. So let me show you how to do that. So from the user story itself, what you can do is go to the three little dots and click on customize. Now you will get this kind of message if you are using one of the four basic Agile, Scrum and CMMI system processes um, because effectively you cannot directly change the states, the user story items, you cannot tweak system processes. What Azure DevOps tells you, tell you is that to make changes to the states of the user story, you have to use a custom process that exists or that someone else created maybe within your organization, or you have to create a new, create a new inherited process for your sample project. This is what we're going to do here. We're going to create a custom process where we can then tweak the layout of the user stories, but effectively in our case, we want to tweak the states of the user story. So let's call it, for example, um, Aja user story states update. If we create this, it will effectively let you now, so it will navigate to the user story item, work item, and you kind of see a layout that you can now start tweaking. So tweaking the layout, it's not really a, a part of this video. What I want to do, to, however, is change the state. So if I go to states, I can now update the states of that user story, right? And typically what I would do on my project is I would hide a few of these. So hide the active and resolve. And in the whole in pro progress section, I will create in analysis and maybe that is a red one. So you can specify the color I would create in dev. I would create in test. And I would create in UAT, for instance. Right? So you created the states in analysis, in dev, in test, in UAT, and then maybe it's deployed and closed. So those are kind of the typical processes I, I would use. Maybe I would have an in deployment as well. So you created your new states for your user story. And then now what you can do, if you go back to your project, so if you navigate back to your organization, you can pick your project again. Now you will see under the same user story. So you will get an error message because the mapping of the columns on the board, there is an error because of the states that are not mapped correctly to the column. So what you have to do, you have to align and you will see the error message coming here in columns. You have to align the columns of the Kanban board to the states. So if I click on active, you will see that it's in red because I have deactivated the other state. So I can now say that the in analysis and maybe change even the name of the column in analysis. Then I can go to resolved and then I'll say here it's in dev. And put it in 
dev. I can add an additional column here that I can move right, move right, and the new column will say in test. So you have to do that to basically be able to move right, move right, to use your states with your user story on the Kanban board. And this one will be in UAT. If I do that, now I'll see all my user story again in columns and I can move them to the specific states. States, And if I open a user story, you will see that I have my states properly mapped. So the old state disappeared and the new one appeared. Another uh, tweak that you can do as well is effectively split some of those columns on doing and done. So for example, in analysis, you can split it in two. If I go back to column, and I say in analysis, split column in doing and done. If I click on this one, I'll now have two sub column below. And this simply means that this user story is being currently, it's in analysis, someone is doing the analysis. And once the analysis is done, we can move it here. And then you have maybe someone from your dev team picking that story and moving it to in dev. And you can split any of those other columns in doing and done, you can split any of these accordingly based on your needs. Voila, I hope that you liked this video. And if that's the case, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me understand if you like this kind of content. And don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel as I'll be doing more videos about Azure DevOps board soon. See you.